I'm about to show you how to turn a blog post into a chatbot message flow. So in this example, it's gonna be one of those listicle type of blog posts. You know, the five ways to lose five pounds in five weeks, one of those type of blog posts. So I'm gonna show you how to chop up the different sections of the blog post, turn those into different messages, and then if somebody wants to learn more about that specific one piece, then they can click learn more or they can click on next topic and they'll progress through the blog post in that way. So you wanna keep watching because this is is gonna really help you with getting people to consume your blog post content. Before we jump into it though, I have to tell you about our free mini chat messenger bot cheat sheet. So we have this great piece of content. It comes in PDF form as well as a video walkthrough and it's called the 11 crucial features that your mini chat messenger bot must have. Now, if you wanna get this 100% free PDF download and video walkthrough, all you gotta do is go to bit.ly slash MC cheat sheet. That's bit.ly slash MC MC cheat sheet and we're gonna send it to you in a Facebook message so you got to make sure that you're logged in a Facebook messenger and when that message window opens you want to type in the keyword learn and that's gonna guarantee that you get access to the PDF download and the video walkthrough so now let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial where I show you how to take apart a blog post with its different sections and put it into a message flow with different chunks all inside mini chat all right so here we are inside the mini chat platform we're in the growth tool section and this is using the messenger ref URL growth tool. Now I actually have two opt-in messages created for this actual message flow. One is with the ref URL growth tool and the other one is with the JSON growth tool. I'm going to show you the ref URL growth tool because the opt-in message with the ref URL growth tool allows you to have more copy and it allows you to use the first name. So right here when somebody opts into this they're going to be added to a sequence called the five proven strategies. Now this blog post that I'm going to show you is one that we wrote. It's called the five proven strategies to increase lead quality and decrease lead cost. So let's go ahead and jump into this right here. Now the starting step of this overall message flow is right here. It says, hey, first name, do you wanna learn my five proven strategies to increase your lead quality and decrease your lead cost? After spending, you know, blah, 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 it goes on to pitch the, the overall blog post and explain to them why they wanna read this. And then it says, click the button below now to go ahead and go through these five proven strategies. So they say, yes, I'm ready. When they click on that, it's going to subscribe them to that follow-up sequence. It's gonna add the tag, five proven strategies, and it's gonna add a tag called strat number one. Now I'll show you why that's important here in a second, but let's go ahead and jump into starting the flow and it's going to start with this massive flow right here. Now this is a very complex flow. It's got conditional follow-up responses. It's got smart delays. It's got tagging. It's got a lot of cool stuff in here. So let's go ahead and jump into how awesome this thing is. Okay, so this is the very first message of the overall message flow. It says, awesome, before we start, I wanted to let you know X, Y, Z. So basically what I am telling people is that if they ever wanna book a call with me to learn how we can set up this type of blog post or this type of messenger bot or run Facebook ads or basically my call to action is setting up a call with me. So I'm telling them, hey, if at any time during this message flow you wanna book a call with me, simply type in the keyword call and then that's gonna automatically send them a message linking over to my Calendly calendar software booking tool where they can book that free 15 minute consultation call with me. So this is my overall goal with this piece of content is to get them to book a call with me so that I can tell them all about our agency services, how we build out messenger bots, how we build out Facebook ads, all that kind of stuff. So I just wanna be upfront with that. And then at the very end of the flow, I have that call to action again, stating, hey, now that you've learned the five proven strategies, do you wanna go ahead and book this call with me so that we can implement these five proven strategies into your business? So they click on yeah, go to number one. So this is proven strategy number one, and they're gonna get this message right here. Strategy number one is to run targeted Facebook ads with the call to action button, directing them to Facebook Messenger. It goes on to tell them more information about that, and then there is a delay that waits 25 seconds. Now this is a non-typing delay. This does not show that typing is happening. And this is very important because I don't want to distract them with the little bubbles jumping up and down. I just have it 25 seconds, give them time to read it. I've actually read it myself and I counted. That's how I came up with the number 25 seconds because maybe I'm a slow reader, but you know, 25 seconds is what it takes me to read this entire message right here. Then it hits them with this message right here saying, click the more info button to get more details on this strategy or go ahead and go to step number two. 
So this is the really cool thing is basically with this blog post, let's say you got the five proven strategies, right? So you take the first strategy and you cut that into two separate pieces and you send them that first piece at first and then if they want to read more and learn more about that first piece, then you link them over to more information on this and then it sends them this message right here, elaborating on that, providing more information about that. If they don't really care so much about learning more, then they go ahead and proceed to step number two, which is this message right here. Now, one crucial thing to notice here is that when they click on step number two, it's going to add the tag strat number two before it sends the message. So it adds a tag strat number two. They've At this point, they've already got the tag strat number one added to them because that's what was added in the opt-in message. So now they have strat number two and then they're gonna get strategy number two sent over to them. So same thing here, it goes over strategy number two, has a 25 second waiting time and then they get the option right here in this message saying if you want to learn more on this click this button right here if you want to go to strategy number three then click this button right here so each time that they click on one of these go to number two three four you know whatever it is then a tag is going to be added so here's where something really cool happens though is if they like right here at the bottom of this strategy number one message, if they don't click on strategy number two and they just bail or they, they're, they're not responsive, then it proceeds to do a smart delay. So there is a one minute smart delay that takes place. And if they have not clicked on strategy number two, like right here, if tag is strategy number one, but tag is not strategy number two, then send this message right here. So it's going to automatically send them strategy number two. They don't necessarily have to click on the go to number two button. It will automatically send them because of this condition right here saying tag is strat number one, but tag is not strat number two. So it goes and sends them strategy number two automatically. And then that is kind of like my little nudge follow up of saying, hey, let's let's continue this moving. You know, maybe they checked out, maybe they got distracted and they went somewhere else and they got off the computer or they got off their phone. This second message right here is supposed to remind them to continue going through the different strategies. So they're going to get strategy number two automatically sent to them. And then they're going to have that 25 second delay and then they're going to get strategy or they're going to get that follow up message to strategy number two. So basically they're going to their phone is going to sound off or their computer is going to go off and they're going to get these follow up messages kind of reminding them to continue going on. And then that's going to be it. There's no more like there's I'm not going to automatically send them number three because if they've checked out at this point, I don't want to bug them. I don't want to annoy them. So if they don't click on this button, go to number three then nothing is gonna happen. There's not gonna be anything else that follows up with them. It'll just, you know, the next message in my multi-day sequence is gonna hit them later on and that'll be it, right? They will have stopped consuming this content. I don't wanna annoy them that much, right? So each of these different steps of the blog post, like when they click on this one, go to strategy number three, it's gonna tag them with strategy number three. When they click on in the strategy number three message, when they click on go to number four, then that's gonna tag them with the strategy number four tag. So each message that they receive has this little conditional follow-up. So basically if they got sent strategy number four, but they didn't click through to strategy number five, there, then there is that one minute delay and then the follow-up message pushing them through just a little bit. And then strategy number five ends things with saying, now that, you've, now that you know the five proven strategies, do you wanna book a free consultation call with me? If they click on yes, let's chat, then it's going to notify me with a Facebook message and my phone will sound off and it'll say, X person said that they wanted to book a call with you and then it's going to send them this message right here, awesome. Click the button below to book a call with me in Calendly, which is one of the call booking softwares that I recommend you use. And I, I talk about that, that's one of the strategies in the message flow is that they should be using a call booking software and then it links them over to my call booking software and it adds a tag when they click on that button, the tag being clicked schedule call. So another cool little follow-up that is happening here is that when they click on this button saying, yes, let's chat, it adds the tag saying wanted to book a call. Then it sends this message, go ahead and book your call. And then when they click on this, it actually adds the tag clicked schedule call. So if they click on 
you know, that they wanted to book a call, but they don't actually click through to my calendar, I have a follow-up message right here where it's gonna wait one hour, and then right here it says tag is, wanted to book a call, tag is not, click schedule call, and then it's going to send them this follow-up message right here. Hey, first name, I saw that you wanted to book a call with me, but you didn't actually click through to my calendar to book the call. So you're kind of just nudging them saying, go ahead and book the call now. You know, maybe maybe you got distracted or something, but go ahead and book the call now. So it's just a little nudge to remind them to go and book the call. So that is pretty much the overall message flow sequence here. Again, if you have any kind of list type of blog post, you can set this up and the beauty of this type of message flow is that you're actually getting them to consume more of that content in the overall blog post versus sending them to just a blog post page on your website or a landing page or something like that. People just scroll all the way up and down. They just kind of skim it. They don't really read the whole thing. But with this type of way, you are actually spoon feeding them all the different pieces of it. It's an engaging, interactive way of them progressing through your pieces of content. You're getting them tagged, you're following up with them, and there's that call to action of, you know, in this example, I'm having them book a call with me. In your example, it could be to check out a product page, it could be to download a cheat sheet, it could be book a call, anything like that. So I highly recommend that you check out this message flow if you want to actually jump in to see this exact piece of content my my content right here called the five proven strategies to increase your lead quality and decrease your lead cost then go ahead and shoot me a message i'll actually create a bitly link and it's going to be called bitly slash five proven strategies so again that's bit.ly slash five proven strategies and then you're going to click that and it's going to send you that opt-in message, the ref URL message that I showed you at the very beginning, and you'll be able to progress through this actual message flow and see that. And again, if you have not yet downloaded our free mini chat messenger bot cheat sheet, then I highly recommend that you do so. Again, it comes with a PDF and a video walkthrough. So if you're like me and you're not a big reader, then you can easily watch the video and you can consume the content in that way. Just head over to bit.ly slash MC cheat sheet. That's bit.ly slash MC cheat sheet. We're gonna send it over to you in a Facebook message. So make sure that you're signed into Messenger. And then when that message window opens up, type in the keyword learn, and that will guarantee that you get sent the cheat sheet right there. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was able to teach you something new. I hope that you actually go ahead and try this and build out your own blog post message flow. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.